Hi there Otto, Spazzy coming right at you, welcome to another vlog. It's time to do some more chef spoos, it's been a while. I just came back from the gym, I'm wearing one of my shirts that you guys sent in. This is from Vinici, Vinici, Vinici. I know that you love when I butcher your name, don't ya? Got a little smooch in there on your thing, let me just, oh damn I made it worse. But yes, today we're gonna be making a burger. Burgers are fun, they're fun to make. I think what I love about making burgers is that they're, well everyone loves burgers, but also they're kind of easy to make and you can make them as complex or, or simple as you'd like. It really comes down to your preference and today we're gonna make kind of like my go-to burger. There's nothing unique or revolutionary about my burger, but it is a really, really smooth, slick burger, yeah? Smooth and slick. That's good. Good adjectives. But hey, it's Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. And I, for one, always argue that making a proper dinner or a meal is better than any lousy chocolate you'll just buy out there. So maybe you'll make this burger to that special person, and if you do, you will get laid. I mean, you will. it'll be nice. It's gonna be a double cheeser. It's gonna get some bacon in there, some caramelized onions. Let's just get on with it, shall we? So let's begin. And like I said, this is a very good a beginner burger, I'd say. There are tons of other techniques and things you can add on top of this once you get a little more experienced. But let's start here. First, we're going to start with the patties. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper there and then start forming them into two pretty thin patties. Make sure they're as evenly sized as possible and then put them in the fridge for about 30 minutes so they sort of like keep their form and shape when you hit them with the heat from the pan. While they're setting in the fridge, we can start with our toppings. First, we're gonna fry some bacon and then we're gonna chop an onion. You can go with shallots or red onion, it doesn't really matter. Make sure you keep your eye on that bacon. You really want it to turn crispy, otherwise, what's the point? And once that's done, we introduce the onion to the same pan because we wanna use all that flavor from the bacon. And we're gonna slowly fry these onions on a medium to medium high heat. Make sure it's not too hot because you wanna give these onions quite a lot of time in the pan. When they've started to change color, you hit them with just a pinch of brown sugar. Don't make this too much. We don't want them to be super sweet but we do want them to caramelize a little bit and keep frying them on a low heat slow and steady wins the race here and while that's happening we can prep some other things i'm gonna slice very thinly my iceberg lettuce here with any burger topping to me shredding stuff really thinly is the way to go and we're gonna use this lettuce in a kind of special way later so that'll make sense if you have a strainer or whatever they're called make sure you use it because we don't want all that water to end up in our burger the onions are now crisped up and we can remove them put them on some paper towels and just uh, await assembly next the dressing okay when it comes to burgers and whatever sauce you want to put on there, if you do something mayonnaise based, you're, you're gonna be fine. Feel free to try different things. But what I do is I hit it with a spoon of mayo, this is for one person. Then I go in with a little bit of a shiracha. That's a pretty hot but very flavorsome chili sauce. Not too much, just a little bit. I don't want a spicy burger, but I want a little bit of tingle in there. A little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of mustard. And then I dice some pickled cucumber, throw that in there and mix. Now, when you put a sauce like this on top of your burger, it's gonna become pretty runny. It's gonna be a little bit all over the place, and we wanna avoid that by doing one of my favorite things when I'm making a burger, which is to take the thinly shredded lettuce and mix that together with the sauce. Measure this to your liking, but to me, a little less than you'd expect it goes a long way. These burgers we're making, they're gonna be real juicy, they're not gonna be dry. The flavor of the sauce will be there, but I feel like very often when you make homemade burgers, people just cover them in sauce, and it's a shame because the meat is the star of the show here. So just like that, toss it around, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna keep the sauce on our burger and it's not gonna end up on our plate and that is how we like it. We are ready to fry our burgers. Before you fry a burger, you need all your toppings prepared. This is important because you want to serve that burger the minute it gets out of the pan. We have our bread, we have our salad sauce, we have our wonderful caramelized onions, bacon, cheese, and like with the lettuce, thinly sliced tomatoes. I just don't personally like when you get a big chunk of anything on your burger. You want that thin slice and then you can just put several layers of that thing and it just helps with the texture a lot. Give it a go you like it. Burger frying time, this is not something you have to do, but I like to brush my burgers with a little bit of mustard. It gives it a really nice and flavorsome crust, and you want to make sure your pan is nice and hot. And of course, I haven't cleaned this out. I've got so much flavor in there from the bacon fat and the onions, so just whack them in there. Just a couple of minutes on each side is what you need, and the moment you flip them, you introduce the cheese. And here's what I like to do. I like to hit the hot pan with a little bit of cold water, put a lid on top, and that's just going to steam that cheese and make it start oozing. And that's the way you want, except in this case, I had way too much water, so I had to pour it out, but you're not going to see that because, wait, I put it in the video, damn it. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're looking for. Mm -mm. A nice crust and cheese melting over the sides. Children, close your eyes. Now, introduce these two patties to each other. There you go, happy Valentine's. Practice safe mounting, and we are now ready to assemble the masterpiece. I've toasted my bread in the oven, and I like to start with my sauce lettuce. That's a new word, by the way. We're gonna use that from now on at the bottom, because that's just gonna help hold the bread and the contestants of the burger together, yeah? Get a few thin slices of tomato on top of that. Here comes the star of the show, the two beef patties. Oh yeah, why not put some crispy bacon on top of that? Some sauce lettuce on the lid, and then our lovely, gooey, but still kind of crispy caramelized onions. A Little bit of sweetness, but also a lot of depth. Close the lid, 
take a step back and admire my god. <laughs> I love cooking. Nice. Let's try and make a cross section. So I definitely should have picked a larger bread, but my god. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Um, damn. Damn, I'm good at cooking sometimes. I'm just gonna eat this now. Oh my god. But what about fries and what about this and that? You don't eat it. Here we go. Hmm. Notice how it actually stays together though, kind of. Like, and that's because we did some smart planning and we don't have sauce drooling everywhere. Although it's still super juicy, the sauce is in there, but it stays in there. Oh my god. Is this legal? This should be illegal. Mm. You got the sauce, just a little bit of heat in there, not a lot at all. The beef is perfectly cooked, it's juicy, you got that crust on it, you got the cheese oozing everywhere, but then you're hit with that salt and crunchiness of the bacon and the sweet crunchiness of the homemade onions. Oh, and it just goes so beautifully together. Mmm, there's nothing really special about this recipe. And I love that you can do so many things with burgers, but I also love doing just the basics but doing them to perfection is so, oh, it's so good. And as a final note, as you can probably hear, the bread is kind of crunchy. I toast my bread in the oven. This is just a very fluffy white bread, so if you give it that extra rough treatment of a little bit of a harder toast, it will just keep it all together. But it's not gonna be rough to bite into. It's still gonna just melt away in your mouth, but it's gonna give you that crispiness. And most importantly, you can eat your entire burger. Mm. Before I used to do this, this times 10 would be every homemade burger experience. Sauce everywhere, and it's just a mess. Now there's nothing wrong with a little bit of mess when you eat a burger. Actually, I would argue that you're supposed to get messy with it. But I would just be so sad, because I'd look down on the plate, and I'm like, oh man, that's all sauce that could be in my mouth right now, and it's not. But hey, give this technique a go. And if you do cook anything I make here on the channel, make sure you tweet it at me, at Spazzy with a four step, and I link to my Twitter down below. I'm gonna eat this last thing now. You might want to look away, because it's about to get annoyed. I mean, come on. Yes! Bye. Mmm! That's a good burger. I got some letters from you guys. First one is from Anna Ringham from Norway. Read offline or online anonymously. God damn, I just said your name. I could have edited it, but I want to credit you for your letter. Let me read it first. Oh, we met in Katowice. Aw. Aw. That was such a nice letter. A lot of very warm, encouraging words, and uh, thank you very much, Anna, for sending that. I really do appreciate it. Next is from Jonas. Nice name, bro. I'm Spooderman. I don't know why, but I'm Spooderman now. Oh, I like this sentence. You remind me of a superhero. The comments I like to read do not differ from your value to, for me. Aww. I know it doesn't make sense, but you're my hero. Man, these, uh, these letter sessions are getting very emotional, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. I can be alone on Valentine's when I get this. Or shall I call you Dave? And you ruined it. I'm just kidding, you did it. <laughs> when Molly and you broke up, I cried. I cried a lot. I don't know, but you were so vulnerable and miserable, I couldn't hold it back. <laughs> you know, it's true. Um, it, it's, it sucks. Breakup sucks. And I'm not that big on showing you guys everything that I go through with my life. For instance, you haven't really heard much of what I do when I'm a single and what I'm doing when I'm dating and all that stuff. But I do think that's important. I, I mean, that's that, that part at least. It's important to show you guys that I'm not just some one feeling robot that only goes around and whistles and is happy at all times. Just a person. And, and everyone has, you know, their ups and downs. Even me. Thank you, Jonas, for this lovely letter. Oh, and finally, we have from... Oh, from the energy that the girl that made the shirt. Isn't that fitting? That was actually not planned. Thanks for the great moments in 2017. I know it's been a rough year for you, so I sincerely hope next year will be the year with more awesome sauce and crispiness. One might think we have art on our hands. Oh, Merry Christmas, booze. Look, it's like a little Christmas Sonas boozy. I got this on Twitter too, but now I got it framed. It's beautiful. Look how good she is. This was obviously very late um, because postal services are bad, but I got it at least, so that's good. Right next to the Christmas automaton, but the poop sausage. We'll have to find some new place for you. I'll sort this out later, but for now, can you just stay there? Thank you guys for sending me cool stuff. You can always do that. My address is in the post box below. I open it as often as I can here on the vlog channel, and I do open and read every letter I get. Now let's get some coffee. Lonely. I am so lonely, I have nobody but myself. That's not true, I got you guys as well, and a bunch of friends. They're all in love. Fuck them.
<laughs> mm, a little vanilla heart and a cup of java. And that's all you need sometimes. I'm really sick of these glasses, I gotta say. I'm really not, I'm, I'm done with them. I'm wearing contacts most of the time. And uh, whenever I put these on, I just go, uh, I wanna get new ones. I wanna get round ones. I, wanna, I think I'd look good in round glasses. Harry Potter confirmed in it. Man, that burger. Burgers are a great way to get you into cooking because they're very easy to improvise with. Like you can slap almost anything on top of a burger and it'll taste pretty good. Experiment with different cheeses. You can wrap stuffing inside the meat. Try different toppings. You can also do several mixtures to your uh, minced meat and do a lot of cool things. So do give it a go. And this might be a good base for you to start with and then you can sort of start to innovate. Maybe you don't like the onions, you'll do something else with it. Either way, hit me up with those burgers on Twitter if you do make them. But before we end the vlog, we need a question of the day, and today's questions come from Nana89XOOX. Question of the video, will you ever have a Discord for your fans? It seems like every streamer these days has a Discord, so I've been wondering if you are gonna get one too. I've been thinking about it, I've been thinking about it. I, I was actually in talks with Discord a while back to do a sponsored thing uh, with them, and they, they do have a great product, so I, I would love to endorse them. Mm, but we'll see, I, I, I think before I do, I need to establish something that I can get out of it. And I don't mean just dough, as in a sponsorship, even though that's also nice. I mean that I wouldn't set up a Discord just to have a Discord. I would uh, have to establish some of the things that I could do, maybe interact more with you guys, maybe it'd be to invite you to games, or just build more of a community there. And then, as always, whenever I do something, I want to try and do it properly, so I would have to look into getting mods and bots and stuff that made sure it was a smooth experience. But yeah, I've been thinking about it, and uh, maybe in the future um, we'll, we'll have something on it. Maybe it'll be together with the Discord guys, or, or it'll be something I saw that alone. Regardless, stay tuned. I've been getting this question a little more frequently these days, so maybe. For now, it's just me, the CD nerds, and our little Discord playing games. Don't judge me. I work out. Treat whatever the hell I want. Burgers for lunch, pastries for dessert. Internally, I might look like a 50 year old smoker, but that doesn't matter because my body's fierce. <laughs> Oh god, that's gonna do it for this vlog. Click here to subscribe, click here to watch the previous vlog where I fix my broken ass computer. Or do I? It's a cliffhanger. Spin spazzy and I'm out.